Happy Monday to... I meant to say, uh, welcome to Desk Lady, sorry. What? Oh. So, yeah, we're hi. fine. Everything's okay now. It's great. Uh, hi, it's me, Lady Ada. I'm at my desk in the pitch darkness of space. We've got a uh, little stream tonight. Going to get back into some streaming. We've had some exciting weeks. A lot of hardware being designed, stuff that we will be releasing soon. But I thought I'd show off a mailbag for today, Mailbag Monday. I got this extruder that I, I did a Kickstarter. I'm gonna go to the um, overhead and we can look at what I ordered. This thing, eye extruder. Smart solder paste and adhesive dispenser. So it's, um, it's a handheld solder paste dispenser. Usually I do this by hand, just squeezing with my thumb, but it does hurt your hand if you do it all day. And so I thought um, for the people in fab and also for prototype manufacturing, um, I back this on Kickstarter. So you want to maybe go to the computer? I'll quickly just show it off. So yeah, I backed this like two years ago or something. And uh, it came in. I was actually like, this is pretty cool. Like, you know, it's handheld. You can charge it. And maybe it's USB powered. I don't know. I don't remember if it's USB powered or if it's battery powered, but it's pretty easy to power. Maybe, yeah, I guess it's power jack. You can configure it, there's like a little display, and then you like put a syringe in it, and then you see here you can basically squeeze little drops of paste onto PCBs, and this is pretty handy. This person has nice nails. And uh, yeah, you can get little, little blobs, and they're like perfect blobs. So, I'm into that, so that's why I backed it. I, you know, I don't usually uh, back Kickstarters or um, crowdfunding, but, um, I was like, this is such a good idea that if even if I, I was like, well, there's a chance I'll get it and then they won't be able to make more. Like, because sometimes people like end up realizing that they completely uh, didn't spec out the bomb costs. And so they're like, oh, it turns out like we're not making more after this because we lost money. But I think actually it sounds like they're, you know, from the updates, they're going to actually be selling these. So I got my, um, yeah, I got my email for my class action lawsuit for Lily the drone. Oh, yeah. So I uh, I backed Lily the drone and it was all fake. Yeah, did and, you get a uh, refund? My name's on the list to get a refund. All right, well. But I did get one of my Kickstarters today. I got a backpack. You saw it. I, I'm gonna start to. If you want, you can bring it up here. You can show it off. Yeah, I'll do that. On nice one. Okay, so let me let's let's take this apart. Maybe put it together or something. All right. So I all I did was make sure that it had something in the box because that would have been a little embarrassing. But I haven't actually put it together or anything. So you get a box and a little instruction card. Okay, so it's not too bad. Ooh. Hi, Lamore. The pick and place pen and solder paste is a gift. Regards, comes up. All right, well, thank you, comes up. Uh, so let's check this out. Okay, so we've got some, this is pretty cool. So this is injection molded. And it's two pieces, and it's screwed together. And then it looks like there's some sort of sensor or something, a switch. Oh, these are the two switches. So these two switches, they're like nice and rubbery. They come up here, and you can like, let me turn this on so I can see it. There's a little PCB that goes down here and back up here to uh, three pogo pins. So this is, it says S1, S2, and ground. 
So I guess when you hold it, you can like hold it nicely like a pen and you can, you know, press these buttons. So that's one piece. You also get some lead-free solder paste. So this is pretty familiar stuff. So we'll just have to remove this. So that's the protection cap. And then it comes with some tips. And you know, you pick a different tip for whatever you're doing. I like a nice fine tip. So let me see what this is. This is too fine, I think. It's a very needle-like. Maybe, um, maybe this one. This one looks pretty good. So you screw this on to a lure lock. You just screw it on. Nice and secure. This comes right off. So what you usually do is you um, you get a, a, a syringe, like a push pusher, I don't know, whatever. It goes in the bottom here. And the pusher robot. And then, yeah, you use a pusher robot and, uh, and you look into the darkness of space. What is it of the terrible secret of space? Anyways, Phil's gone, whatever. He got bored. So um, usually you push it by hand, but it does hurt your hand after a while if you do it all day. So this goes in here, I guess, right? Looks like it, yeah. This seven, 17 goes into here. I don't know exactly what this is. You're most saying it's a plunger. Right, plunger. It's been a day. Okay, so this fits into, oh, that snaps into there very nicely. All right, that's pretty nice. Plunger is correct. Okay, don't know exactly what this is. Okay, power supply thingy. It's like a standard USB power thing. This, what is this thing? This is 20. This is the pick and place pen and piston. Oh, so you can use this for pick and place as well. Oh, I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what you would do is you would, uh, um, you can use this, I guess, as sort of like a, a vacuum tool. So you use this as um, a, a device you can pick up components with, which is kind of interesting. I guess there's enough vacuum in here or enough, you know, it can, it can pressure, it can uh, give you some negative pressure. Okay, so this is the power plug, which is like an audio cable. So this, and this is the part that's the smart part. So this is a lead screw. So let's power this on. So power. So this end, it's kind of a nice cable. This part goes into power. And this I'm going to plug into my, uh, my little USB wall adapter thing. Okay. Ooh, so all that came on. Wow, there's like a menu? Yeah. What? You back a little bit. Back a little bit? Yeah. yeah. Hold on, let's look at this menu. So you can move really it cut off. Well, I can, I can oh, move it. Oh, sorry. Yeah. You can move that. No, this is good. Okay. Okay, so this says uh, menu mode off. That's pretty advanced. This is like super advanced. Okay, so now it's off mode, mode, menu. Oh my god. It went like Android. <laughs> Can go sleep. This is better than most phones I owned. Can you make calls with it? Stand by. This is the motor. Okay, so you can you can customize the motor. So micro stepping, one eighth is fine. What's this? Language English. Yeah, definitely keep it like that. Brightness. So, um, for the folks that aren't familiar with these things, what does this do? Dosing mode. <laughs> uh, it, it doses you. Now this is um, this is a little extruder. To extrude so uh, conductive solder paste. Conductive solder paste. Hold okay. on, let me get back. I'm actually, I was going to demo this, but then I got super in, in, entranced by the menu. Um, so let me put it into mode. Are you sure this isn't one of those Scientology devices that you you see on, in San Francisco to to give you a personality test? No. Right. So the only thing I don't. Same I color guess blue. This. So these these three dots plug into this dot and they snap in. Oh, and then you have to ah, I see this, this, and then there's a ring. Hold on. The most advanced vapor. 
Um, this I'm is not a vapor. No, I'm no, gonna no. move you around a little bit because you keep cutting out. Sorry, so I'm, I'm, that's right. I'm moving. It's going like this. No, I'm just gonna move you. Okay. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, just figure this out. This. There'll like be a little bit of payphone. Okay. But like. So when you deal with it. Yeah. yeah so what this does is this mo there's a motor in back here, and it will push on the syringe. Um, whenever I press these two buttons, and it will dispense paste. So let's uh, let's dispense paste on this. Let's get like real close. I think I have to like. I have to get it going now. It's doing something. Maybe I could change the mode. Pick in place. Dispense. No, this is this is correct. Okay, so I'm holding this down and let's see. How, how much do you think you spent on this? I think this was a hundred dollars. Yeah. Let's see. I don't know if I hooked this up right. It's doing something. Yeah. Can you? Uh, you know, you don't get rid of everything. Yeah, everything's not. Right. Oh. Yeah, right. yeah. Put that there. Put that there. Yeah. And then uh, I'm gonna move the camera around. I don't a see bit. the um, paste coming out. I think I didn't set something up right. Okay. Plug in the USB, you can use a trigger socket. Attach the new piston or pre-filled syringe. Attach the pre button Sometimes like you need to let the motor run for a while. Yeah, I think you have, okay, attach the new piston or pre-filled syringe and then use previous or next buttons to like fast forward. Yeah, so I have to, this is the problem. I have to like, there, there's so much that I have to, like the first time you advance, you have to like squish it all the way. So, I hear something. Okay, wait, one is fast forward, so this is what I want. Oh, I thought that was like a menu thing. So I wanted to select this thing. So I've got it selected on fast forward. And then, oh wow, yeah, this is like super fast. Okay, so actually now you can see this just filled up. Yeah, so you had to get the air out of it. Yeah, I just had to get the air out. You should so watch Train Spotting before we do this. <laughs> okay, so now I'm ready to go back into mode, and I'm going to be in dispense mode. And then now I think this should be working. Do you have to fast forward? I can hear stuff. No, 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 it's it's happening. Okay. I just have to get it ready. We had four rehearsals before this live show. I don't understand what's going on. No, this is just, this is life. This is, I don't know why it's not, um, it clearly filled. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not doing something right, but I don't know what. And the motor's moving. It looks like a little face. Hi. Yeah. Sorry, this is... No, this is what we do. This is a live show. Hmm. Maybe this isn't tightened enough? Can I see it for a sec? Just sorry, I actually did the wrong thing for a moment. Yeah, sure. You want to try this? Yeah, only because, like, uh, uh, like, I'll blow it up. Like, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. I'm selecting fast forward, but I think I, I'm yeah. not watching the right here. Yeah. So how does it get power? Do this thing. Do that thing. Does yeah. it need to be USB power? Uh, it's plugged into the wall, actually. Okay, so... Let's use it fast backward from the lead screw. I've attached it to the needle. 
Pay attention. Okay, but who's rings? Because rings. I don't see a ring. Do you want pick and place mode? No, I want. What do you want? M mode or D mode? I think M mode is good. What what mode do you want? M. 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 Yeah. What does M stand for? Manual. Manual? Yeah. I got close. I actually probably should have stopped once I had the, the syringe fill. But it's also supposed to be like some sort of quick release round. Oh, you know what? I didn't um, I didn't put this in. That's what's wrong. You're missing parts? I missed a part. So I have to backtrack it and then put this in. Okay. This, this is my flaw. I didn't realize that this was, I thought, I thought this was part of a syringe, but this is not. What is this thing? 18. Syringe rail. No, I need syringe rail. Okay. So why did you? Okay, I got something going on, but you should, you should do something else. No, I know exactly what to do. I totally, I totally messed this up, but it's going to be okay. I have to back this up all the way. When you, when you say back it up, do you mean the menu? No, the, the motor. The the, motor. Right now, I'm backing the motor. You're backing the it's motor It's done. Up. That's it. Stop. Okay. So it's like, don't... There's nothing left. No, there's, don't do it anymore. Yeah. Okay, now you're taking Pop. it apart. So now what I need now is this is supposed to be screwed onto the end. Oh, because that, that pushes it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I didn't realize that there was a little screw. I thought, like, oh, it just this is the plunger, but actually there's... Yeah. There's more to plunge. But there's some ring, 16, which is the syringe adapter ring. But then there's a star. Oh, optional item. Okay, so I don't need that. Okay. All right, so now this should be, like, way better. This is totally going to work. Oh, yeah, this is totally going to work. I mean, maybe. Maybe. You want to go to menu, then you're. What, what, what mode are you going to go I'm to in now? fast forward mode now. No one can see what, if anything's coming out. Well, nothing's coming out yet. Okay. Those are just menu items. What about the buttons near the plunger top front? Those are when you're in manual mode. Oh, you're not in manual mode. I think it's doing something. It's trying, but it's not. Succeeding. Maybe I have to, uh. Maybe it's not strong enough? I could try another. I could actually try another, um. Tip. That's another thing I could yeah. do. Maybe we'll try an easier tip. Okay. Pliers. Oh, this will probably get all squishy. Let's squish. How did you get the paste in? It just, it just goes in. Is it a paste cartridge? or? Yeah, yeah. It's it's in a syringe. Okay. That's how they normally come. All right, I'll try this like super translucent tip. Yeah, then we'll know what's going on. Then you can see things a little easier. Also, this is one. This is there a is there a bigger. seal on the paste syringe? Someone want to know, like maybe you have to peel off a. Like, do the, is, the, is the paste sealed up in the syringe? No. No? Okay. No, I can actually see it. Like, you can sort of see it coming out. Yeah, that's out. it. There? Yeah, see, now oh, it's... Oh, look. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, so now it's filling the syringe. Okay, now what? What's so going to happen So now next? you want to put it in, in, in the mode. Which mode? Well, see this says pick and place mode? Yeah. I press OK, and now it's manual mode. Okay. See that M? Yeah. So now, when I press the this... It gives me just a little bit. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, we got we got something going on. Yeah. I'm just making a mess here. Okay, so that's that's good. Okay. So it does work. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> um so now that that works, I'm gonna get a clean piece of paper so I don't like mess this up. Yeah. So let's get it into dotted mode. Let's put it in the camera make sure the camera can see it. So dotted mode should just be like dot, 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 right? Oh, you know what it is? It means if you hold it down, it still only gives you one dot. But the problem is... It's okay. 
Yeah, this is okay. I'm not completely... I'm just not used to such a big tip. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to change this out. And then change it out, what do you do? You just... I'm going to change it out for, like, a finer, but maybe not okay. as... We've confirmed paste can flow. I want to try this one again, but maybe this yeah. one's clogged? I don't know. I mean, Give me the clogged one. I'll just... Uh, Watch out. I'm not, nothing's, everything's fine. Well, I can blow air through it. Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe this is clogged. Do you want me to go, want me to try to unclog it? No, I'm going to yeah. try, uh... It doesn't seem... Like it's How about able to squeeze the paste through these small nozzles. It can handle the big nozzles. Why don't you, instead of plug it into the USB on your computer, why don't you no, try... No, no, it's plugged into the wall. It's plugged into the wall? Mm-hmm. Wow. I could try their wallet out there. I'm using the... Maybe dosing menu changes how much is dispensed in each dot. Well, yeah, but I'm not getting anything. Let me try their wall adapter. Okay. Although I kind of trust mine a little bit more. You never know. This one's 5 volt 2 amp. That one's a 5 volt 2 amp. Yeah. Okay. You're getting there. Yeah, someone's asking if the power supply has enough amperage. That could be it. Do you want to turn on? Do you want to reboot and defrag the hard drive? I totally just rebooted. Um, okay, so it's in manual mode, but I'm going to go into menu. What is this? This is confusing. It's like every HDMI thing I own. No. So it is 720p. Extrusion time. Oh. I don't know. So that's a 10? Speed. More. Yeah, slow it down. Oh. No, slow it down. Oh, yeah. Someone says the pace is too thick. Uh, yeah, but it's at room temperature. I don't know what that means, but like. Dosing mode manual. Yeah. That's fine. Brightness, that's okay. Maybe for the motor, instead of micro stepping eight, we do micro stepping 16? Yeah. Or a quarter. Yeah. Quarter's more. Okay. More stepping. It's totally trying, and I feel it heating up, but I don't see the paste coming out. It's like it's uh, trying, but not... Can I see the manual while yeah. you're doing this? Attach a new piston or pre-filled syringe to the eye extruder screen into the pins. Okay. If necessary, use previous or next buttons to select fast forward or fast backwards, then press OK. Yeah, we did that. Button to quickly move the lead screw forward or backwards until the distance between the main unit's front surface and the piston adapter will be 15% greater than the distance between the syringe rear surface and piston. Do not over tighten the piston or you will damage it. Once you're to use fast backwards to pull back the lead screw until the syringe rear surface touches the main unit. Okay. Just pressing the needle on the reverse side. The rule of thumb is easy. The higher the, de uh, the higher the viscosity of the material, the bigger should the diameter of the needle used. I think that's what we're into right now. No, I know, but this is, I use this um, diameter needle with paste all the time, and this isn't yeah. that viscous. And is the goal to get into pick and place mode? No, the goal is to uh, dispense paste in a um, efficient and quirky manner. Let's try maybe this, it's a fine tip, but it's one of the, um, it's not a uh, metal tip, it's a plastic tip. You know, so this is like, so this watch is, out for the paste not backwashing past a plunger face. No, this is like... 10 levels. This seems to be working. Do you have a piston adapter and a lead screw? Do you have both of those things? Yeah. Can you hear the box that came in? This seems to be okay. Um, yeah, I have the... The red metal, the red piston adapter. That's the thing I forgot before. It's working now. Yeah. Yeah, it's like it just doesn't. Um, it just doesn't like the. Uh, yeah, like I can get fine beads of paste. Yeah, that's pretty good. So let me um, go back into the menu, and I'm actually gonna speed it up. Okay. 
And I'll set the motor back into Do it. better torque with a smaller step, 1 6 or 1 30 second if it's an option. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's do 1 30 second. You also click on, on one hand, I was like, well, what, is 1 30 second like more precise or is it stronger? Yeah, well, let's find out. Okay, so set it to 1 30 second, but higher speed. Yeah. I mean, here clicking. No, it's it's happening. This is a really fine tip. Yeah. I think this tip is a little bit too fine. Maybe maybe try a less finer tip. Yeah, this is a little bit of the the game, and it's yeah. like it's hard to tell which. Like I know what size I like because I have it at the office, but I don't have it here. I think this pink one is the. Yeah, this is a good size. Let me switch out for that. Versatile, airless, and smart. Smart. It's made in France. Yeah. That's cool. It's made in France. No, I'm, I'm figuring this out. Yeah. Uh, how do you get the paste to stick to your PCB instead of sticking to the nozzle? Um, practice. Okay, that I see that happening. Yeah, this is a good. This is a good size. But this, yeah, this is a little. This it sticks to the nozzle. Yeah, this paste does stick to the nozzle. The metal nozzle, I will say, it does stick less. Yeah. But you, you kind of like do this. Yeah. Do you want it sh um, showed on the um, micros microscope? Yeah, the... I got all these menus. Um, can you uh, take this one? Thanks. Okay. Take okay. So I'm gonna go to the. We're gonna go to the microscope. Yeah. All right. Let me show it here. All right. So I've got the nozzle finally. So. I think I ate some paste. Oh, that works. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? You need a microscope. Look at you. Beep, beep, beep. It so, definitely doesn't hurt your arms nearly as much as... Yeah. You. That's tough. You're just going to do it that way. But the metal tips do stick less, I'll say. I'll okay. Say. That's, that's definitely a downside of the, okay. of the plastic. I mean, now what? I can just do these two just for fun. Okay. All right. So, so far, like, metal tip, you have to yeah. dispense it to right angle so you can, like, squeeze it off. I mean, I've seen you do this before with other stuff, so I think this is good. This is good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, we just opened this and tried this. It's not, like... Yeah, this is fun. It's not like one of those uh, YouTube unboxing videos where the... Uh, it's, like, totally fake, yeah. Yeah, where it's all fake. I'm this is good. So someone wants to know, that quad pattern you just smooshed, why is that okay? Because you just, like, went oh, around... Oh, because it, it doesn't matter. You doesn't can matter. You can't have it afterwards, okay. Very good. Like, your mask. Your mask actually helps you. Like, it doesn't... You don't have to, like, get every pad... Okay. Perfectly clean. I missed that one a little bit. But yeah. Okay. I'm satisfied. Yeah? Yeah, it works. Yeah, I think once, uh, as someone said, like once you start experimenting and get yeah, your settings you going, yeah, like you, like you, you guys actually got to watch me like do it. Which yeah. is exactly what what I would have done, except I would have yeah. just done it in silence. I'll green screen this better next time, but you know, we're just we're in a hurry. We want to do Descalated and then um, yeah, we're gonna go see. But um, I just wanted to show this off. So I think this is cool. This is actually really nice. Yeah, you just need to like um, I think just learn how to like tweak it to you know whatever tip you need. Um, but the motor is nice and strong. Um, it's solid. It's easy to use. The buttons work. And uh, yeah, it's like definitely more compact than the hydraulic type. Like we, um, yeah, we have one that's that you know uses compressed air. But you need, now you need a compressed air source. So at the office we have you know we have we have compressed air in in shop. We have shop air. This is fine for your co-working. So space. this is like good for you're like just doing this at home. Yeah, you're at WeWork. You're at WeWork. You're at Barworks. You're at Barworks. You're at um, Bolt. 
You're at yeah. Pier 9. You're at the HP Samsung co-working Cadillac you're experience. At the, yeah, you're at the Samsung co- co-working Cadillac experience. Um, so this is good for that. And it's like nice and customizable. And it's like well made. So I think this was this was pretty good. So probably what I'll do is I'll um, keep this here and I'll use this here at home because again in the office I've got the the hydraulic. You know we can have air hooked up to the um, syringe um, plunger. Okay. We have a we have a setup that you know that's basically like a not pro but it's like air assist. But when you don't have air, this is nice and quiet. So I'm digging it. All right. That worked out. Yay, it was a Kickstarter. Uh, what do you think the smallest practical package you could solder with this is? Um, I think if you can if you can figure out how to get like really, um, if you get the metal tips working, you could do BGAs by like just dotting them. Um, like larger pitch BGAs, like 0.65 millimeter pitch, but definitely you can do QFPs, QFNs, pretty much any surface mount package you can do. And then you know you always always have to clean them up by hand anyways. But this is this is just a the, no, it's no different than like hand pasting. It's just easier on your hand. Okay, probably works on Mars. Yeah, I don't see why not. If you have USB power, on Mars. Okay, we have more videos and more okay. coming up. If you like these types of shows, um, buy something in different story, different dot com. Or, or pick one of one of these extruders up. Yeah, That's how could they? Is there a URL in the back of this box or anything? It's it's called i dash extruder. Okay. Is so, there a website? Like when you scroll down this aisle? There is, but it's not up. <laughs> so I can show you the website, but it doesn't. It doesn't what happens when you go there? No, there's a, there's a link on the side usually on a Kickstarter. Oh. Uh, and it's like, no, no, keep going, keep going. Like, and they're like, about us. And they say a bunch of stuff about themselves. Um, I think you gotta go to the main. I think you're in hold the. Hold on, hold on. I'm in the wrong place. You gotta go to the main thing. Yeah. Okay. Main. And then they're just like, hey, like we're, hey, we're, we're hey, the real deal. Hey. Usually at the profile they have it. Hey. I don't see Kickstarter anymore. Yeah. There used to be this like this is our URL. You can go here. It's like iextruder.com. All you can do is back this project. It's i-extruder.com. Yeah. But it does this website doesn't exist. Okay, they're gonna be back soon though. But if uh, if it did exist, you'd be here. Okay. I think they, I think, you know, I just got this like today, so I think um, they're just setting up their shop right now. Okay. Okay. Cool. Grant, thanks, everyone. Sweet. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye bye. That was the desolate idea. See you this week. Bye. Extrusion edition.